ஹலோ மை டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஹேவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்பிளேஸ்மெண்ட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இஸ் த டோட்டல் லெங்க் கவர்ட் பை ஏ பாடி அண்ட் டிஸ்பிளேஸ்மெண்ட் இஸ் த ஷார்டஸ்ட் ஸ்ட்ரைட் லைன் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் இனிஷியல் அண்ட் ஃபைனல் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் போத் ஹேவ் த சேம் யூனிட் மீட்டர் ஃபார் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் ஓன்லி மேக்னிடியூட் and for displacement it has both magnitude and direction let's look at an another example a stone thrown vertically upwards travels to a height 6 meter and falls back to the hand based on this let's find out the distance and displacement what's again our question is A stone is thrown vertically upwards like this and it travels to a height of 6 meter then it falls back to the hand that is the stone has reached the point where it starts so let's complete this table first we are going to find out the distance traveled by the stone when it reaches the topmost position topmost position means it travels up to this height so the distance traveled by the stone when it reaches the topmost position is 6 meter next the displacement that is displacement of the stone when it reaches the topmost position look at this figure this is the initial point and this is the final point the straight line distance between them is 6 meter so displacement is also 6 meter as same as that of the distance what do you understand from this yes If a body travels in same direction then distance and displacement are same. Next is the total distance traveled by the stone when it reaches the ground. Just look at the end of journey of the stone. Initially it moves up to a height of 6 meter. Then it reached to the same position that is 6 meter. 6 meter upwards and 6 meter downwards so the total distance covered is 6 meter plus 6 meter that is equal to 12 meter now let's see the displacement in this situation in the figure the stone has finally reached the position where it starts the journey that is initial point and the final point are same so displacement in that instant equal to 0 from this it is clear that to specify distance we need only magnitude magnitude means its numerical value that is its measurement but for displacement along with the magnitude we need to indicate the direction that is magnitude with direction is displacement and for distance only magnitude is needed based on this physical quantities are classified into two vector quantities and scalar quantities quantities which need both magnitude and direction are called vector quantities quantities which need only magnitude are called scalar quantity is distance a scalar quantity or a vector quantity if you say one travels 20 meter from this point we can't say the exact point maybe here maybe here or maybe just around like a circle and if direction is not specified it is a scalar quantity coming to displacement we know 
distance with direction is displacement. Here, 20 km is the distance. Along with it, we specify north, that is its direction. As direction is specified, displacement becomes a vector quantity. Look at this figure. This is the journey of a person from A and goes to D through B and C and come back to A. Then find out the distance and displacement in each point. He starts his journey at A and while he reaches to B, the distance equal to 60 meter. So we can write distance equal to 60 meter. Then he reaches to C. So the distance equal to AB plus BC. That is equal to 60 plus 60, 120 meter. From C, he goes to D. So the distance he covered equal to AB plus BC plus CD. That is 60 plus 60 plus 30, 150 meter. Finally, he returns to A. Then the total distance equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. That is 60 plus 60 plus 30 plus 100. That is equal to 250 meter. Next, we are going to find out the displacement while reaching at B. Look at the initial and final points. The shortest straight line distance is AB, which is same as distance. Here, one thing to be remembered, if a body travels in a straight line in the same direction, then distance and displacement be same. Next is the displacement when the person reaches at C. Here, initial point is A, final point is C. Straight line distance is this, that is AC. So, AC equal to 80 meter. Then the displacement at D. Initial point A, final point D. Straight line distance is AD. AD equal to 100 meter. That is, 100 meter is the displacement when the person reaches at D. Finally, he reaches at A. The initial and final point is same. So, the displacement is zero. So, now you are familiar with distance and displacement. Let's distinguish them. Distance. It is the length of the path travelled. It has only magnitude and it is a scalar quantity. Displacement It is the shortest straight line distance from initial point to final point. It has both magnitude and direction. And it is a vector quantity. There is an activity for you. These two figures shows the journey of a person from A to C through B. You have to find out the distance and displacement covered by him on his entire journey. Dear students, let's conclude today's session. Today we have studied about distance and displacement. In the next class, we will study the next quantity. See you again. Thank you.